Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to our English class. Today, we are going to start the third segment in the lesson, the trial. We have completed already the two sessions. This is the third session. Okay, children. Have you opened your texts? Okay, take out your books and open the textbook page number 131 to continue our lesson. Okay, now you follow my lesson and while I am reading, you underline the hard words. Those are the strange words. Those are not familiar to you. Underline them with a pencil. Okay, Nana? Afterwards, I will I will give the glossary so you understand the meanings of the strange words and you take down. Okay. Now continue our lesson. Page number one thirty one. In our previous lesson, Jonathan was trialed by the invisible sorry trialed by the judicial judicial the invisible the deistic and like other some officials judicial officials okay now she is answering deistic in our earlier class now it is Following. Now we will follow the next lesson. Sorry, next segment. The esteem, assuredly, if you are in the hands of the church and you willfully take yourself out of its hands, you are deceiving the church and that is heresy. So, in the previous class, John of Arc told to esteem, am I a heretic? She, uh, she inquired, she asked her, the esteem, am I a heretic? Am I, uh, yeah, uh, have I done the heresy? So, in this way, she answered to the esteem. Now, Joe, it is great nonsense. Nobody could be such a fool as to think that. So, the esteem said to the Joe, you are doing the nonsense things. You are not agreeing. You are arguing to us. So you are not agreeing the heresy which has done by a crime, a broken of law. You are you broke the laws. So that's why that is called heresy. So uh, means heresy means what? Broken the laws which has given by the church. Church rules broken by her. That is the heresy, and uh, that, that is that is the crime she has done, and she was being brought to inquiry here. So the trial is going on, going on. Dear you, you hear my lord, how I am revealing the execution of my duty by this woman. He sits down indignantly. So, he had grown anger to the upon Joel. So, do hear my lord, how I am revealed in the execution of my duty. So, I have done my duty very well, but she is not agreeing the heresy. So, he get angry upon her and yes, he sat down. Question, I have warned you before Joel, that you are doing yourself no good by these pet chances. You are giving the uh, very big, very lively answers to us. In these, these members, we are all sit here and we inquire you, we inquire you, but you are giving the bad answers to us. You are not getting any fear or uh, what is called any fear of afraid. No, you are giving the lively answers to us, bad answers. Soon, but you will not talk sense to me. I am responsible, reasonable, if you will be reasonable. So, 
when I when you um, the proverb means give respect and take respect. So in this way, you ask me in the sense, and I will also give the sensible answers. You are asking nonsense, so that's why I'm giving the answers in the nonsense only. So when you are reasonable, I must be also reasonable. The invisible. Interposing. This is not yet in order. You forget. Master, promoter. Then the proceedings have not been formally opened. The time for questions is after she has sworn on the gospel to tell us the whole truth. So when the when the, when the accused taken to the court. First of all, the scribes are sitting of um, subordinates or some servants under the judge. So they had taken a Bible or Gita or Quran, the holy books. They took the books and they promised. They uh, the accused should have to promise uh, on the holy books that. She must reveal. He or she must. The accused must reveal the truth. So they take the oath first before the trial. Okay. In this way, here Jonathan also uh, took the oath on Bible. Here gospel, gospel means the first four chapters of the New Testaments in the Bible. So she has taken the oath, oath, and uh, she. Wanted to reveal the truth, but here she wasn't. In the opinion of, in the words of Inquisitor. Okay, Nana. John, you say this to me every time. I have said again and again that I will tell you all that concerns this trial, but I cannot. But I cannot tell you the whole truth. God does not allow the whole truth to be told. You do not understand it. When I tell you, tell it. It is an old saying that he who tells too much truth is sure to be hanged. I am weary of this argument. We have been over, over it nine times already. I have sworn as much as I will swear, and I will swear no more. So here she is. Uh, she was not revealing the truth. What was the truth? Just turn your page to the one twenty nine. Here the first line has given that the French peasant girl who claimed she is claiming that only only the thing she is claiming in at the time of trial that who claimed that the voices of saints had told her she was called on by God to aid her country. So aid means help, service, serve. So assist. So like this. So her country is in a problematic. Uh, her country is in the with the problem with the English army. So she wanted to save her country from the English army. So that's why. So these these voices have been heard by her only. So that's why she couldn't reveal that. That what. She will reveal the truth. He was. She is repeating here. Who tells too much truth is sure to be hanged. This is a proverb. So this is a quotation that she told her. Who means here? Who? The philosophers, the great philosophers in our history, like Socrates, Aristotle, so many members. These, uh, those members. Uh, told the truth when they proved when they told the truth they would be hanged they they hanged for their answers so in this way she was uh, she was afraid that every, uh, who tells too much truth is sure to be hanged and I am very so I tried to I tried I tried my argument so I don't want to do any argument with you. So I never reveal a, a secret or I never reveal the truth. I have sworn as much as I will swear, and I will swear no more. So I have taken so many swears, so many oaths. So the 
that I couldn't take any more swells. I couldn't take any swell. Now courteous, my lord, she should be put to the torture. So how much torture is she has given to us, my lord? Torture means a psychological sufferings. The sufferings are beyond the others. To the others. The invisible. You hear, John, that is what happens to the obturate. Think before you answer. Has she been shown the instruments? So the invisible said, You hear, John, that is what happens to the obturate. So you are giving the stubborn, you are giving the stubbornly refusing to us. So what happened to the, what happened to you before, what, what would be happened to you? So you want to give the, you will punishment. The executioner, they are ready my lord, she has seen them. So here, has she been shown the instruments? Joel, if you tear me limb from limb until you separate my soul from my body, you will get nothing out of me beyond what I have told you. What more is there to tell that you could understand? Besides, I cannot bear to be hurt. And if you hurt me, I will say anything you like to stop the pain. But I will take it all back afterwards. So what is the use of it? So some persons are standing here when... She is. She was not agreeing to um, to tell her to reveal the truth. So she is stubbornly giving the answers to the judges. So that's why she was in the opinion she was giving torture to them. So they had to give the punishment to the accused. So they they had stand up with the with the instruments. So you have already shown John, na? You have already shown na? Okay. Now John answered, If you tear me limb from limb until you separate my soul from until my separate until my soul from my body limbs, until my death occurs. If you separate my limb, if you my cut body into pieces, if I if I uh, occur the, to the death, even though you will get nothing out of me behind what I have told you. So what I have told earlier. That's only. I stand on that only. I don't repeat any. I don't tell any anything to you. You don't. Uh, you, you didn't get anything from me. What more is there to tell that you could understand? Besides, I cannot be hurt to be hurt. And if you hurt me, I will say anything. You like to stop the pain, but I will take it all back afterwards. So, what is the use of it? So I taught her. I am. Uh, I I put pain here when I um, captured by you. So you gave some punishment. You gave me in the cell. You gave me. In, uh, you put me in the prison. So I faced so much torture, uh, so much pain, mentally and physically. So is it? Uh, if I if I reveal the truth, uh, the pain will stop me. No, I already faced. I already. I already faced that pain, so I couldn't uh, uh, come. I couldn't uh, excuse it. So, Nadvin, there is much in the tuition proceed mercifully, cautious, but the torture is customary. So here, cautious uh, said that um, the accused must have uh, must have to be put in the jail. Put in the cell, so we had to give some torture to the uh, towards the accused. It is a customary thing, so we don't uh, we don't uh, beyond go beyond the customary. We go we we don't uh, so what uh, what is the thing? But the torture is customary. Yes, okay. So we have to follow the rules and regulations, uh, the laws of government. Okay, children. The increase increase. It must not be applied voluntarily. If the accused will confess voluntarily, then its use cannot be justified. So when when you confess, you have done a crime. So confess. What is confess means? A formal statement admitting that one is guilty of crime. So. 
confession table, we have seen the confession table in our churches. When we do something wrong towards the God or towards the others, so we go to the confession table and we, uh, we, we may say to the priest, to the God, uh, to uh, admit that we have done such a crime, such a, sorry, such a crime or wrong, mistake, whatever it is. So, uh, we done. So, please forgive me, God, from that uh, evil, from that sin. So, this is the confession. Confession table is uh, seen in our, in our church as well. Okay, Nana? Now, watch this. But this is unusual and irregular. She refuses to take the oath. So, when we take the oath in, when, when the accused to take the oath in the court, so, they had, uh, they are, he or she, had to reveal the truth. But here, John uh, is refused to reveal the truth which has uh, given by the saints, by the God. She, uh, in, in her opinion, she had sent to the, uh, world, to the world means to the country to save her mother country by the God. So she couldn't reveal that truth to the English army, the judicial department, the Court, in the court, to the court parts also. Okay, Nana. Now, Lord Vinny. Disgusted. Do you want to torture the girl for the mere pleasure of it? Do you want to torture the girl for the mere pleasure of it? Fortunless. Bewildered. But it is not a pleasure. It is the law. It is customary. It is always done. So, Lord Vinny asked me. So, are you getting any pleasure, any pleasure that you, you are giving your torture to that girl, to the poor girl, to the innocent girl? Here, let me say, now fortunately, no, 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 this is not our pleasure. It is only our customer. It is only, it is written in the, our law. So, that's why I'm, we are giving to punishment to her. Next, the inquisitor. Inquisitor. That is not so mustard, except when the inquiries are carried on by people who do not know their legal business. But the women is a heretic. I assure you it is always done. Question. Decisive me. It will not be done today if it is not necessary. Let there be an end of this. I will not have to say that we proceeded on forced confessions. We have sent our best preachers and doctors to this woman to exhort and implore her to save her soul and body from the fire. We shall not now send the executioner to thrust her into it. So here, Kushan said that decisively it will not be done today. So we are giving, we are, to, uh, we are, uh, we were telling to convincing him. So come, come to the end. So agree the truth. So take confession before us. So the punishment will reduce. No, no, the John, John does John did not want to agree by the opinion of the court. So that's why we have to give the punishment. Next, courteous. Your lordship is merciful, of course, but it is a great responsibility to depart from the usual practice. So, the usual practice means the accused was given the torture, the punishment by the court. So, you have to depart. Depart means leave. So, you have to leave uh, some amendments to the, this poor girl. So, uh, leave the this, this punishment. Please show uh, the mercy to the girl. John, thou are you a rare noodle master. Do what was done last time is thy rule. Yay. So, John here said that the noodle master. Noodle means what? You are very well known about the noodles. You, uh, you regularly uh, 
are taken as a snacks are you getting it so noodle means flexible that is no standard uh, flexible and soft and smooth so here she, she said that address noodle master cautious rising thou want chan those thou day all to be noodle so and he stood and uh, asked john how dare to talk me noodle master the intelligent patience master patience i fear you will soon be only too terribly avenged so anybody anybody get angry when somebody criticizes somebody satirically call some uh, filthy language or uh, some some uh, uh, abusing words or something uh, said to the back to others everybody get angry in this way the inquisitor also noodle master when she addressed to, to the master noodle so he got angry and he stood so he had inquisitor patience master patience please be patient show the mercy to towards her cautious matters noodle in me he sits down much discontented in the inquisitor meanwhile it is not be moved by the rough side of a shepherd lass's tongue shepherd here uh, she is a peasant girl in the earlier class we have already told you peasant girl peasant means who form uh, who lies on the farm here shepherd means one who tends sheep or uh, raises sheep shepherd lass means here girl lad and lass are the formal language not uh, non informal language so not formal informal language slang they slang john nay i know she for lass do i have help with the sheep like anyone else i will do a lady's work in the house spin or weave against any woman in ruan so here i am no shepherd lass i am not a shepherd lass but i have done uh, the works which uh, the woman had already done in her kitchen spin and weave uh, these things these professional things which i have done at my home and i am not against to that professionally the women uh, the, those women who uh, cooks and who took care of their families uh, for the food and fodder i am not against to uh, against to them the invisible this is not a time for vanity john you stand in great peril so here you are standing in the peril peril means dangerous situation so you are in the step when you uh, agree when you uh, reveal the truth you take your confession then only we uh, we release you uh, from our punishment so you stand here in the peril so that's why you have to uh, show any vanity here vanity means excessive pride so pride uh, because she uh, she is a patriotic knight so that she have that type of vanity in her character okay nan if i had not worn my cloth of gold such thought in battle like a fool that burgundian soldier would never have pulled me backwards of my horse and i shouldn't have been here so in the battle field uh, when the knight when the soldiers or knights uh, worn uh, one kind of coat sack coat gold sack coat here it has given in our glossary also turn the page number 134 the outer coat or garment worn over armor in particular a short sleeveless garment worn as part of insignia of an order of knight king good king good so kings soldiers the officials those who uh, were uh, who were going into the battle field uh, they wear that type of sack coat uh, over the armor so when the burgundian soldier would never have pulled if 
I wouldn't wear that. The Belgian girl so here yeah, wouldn't pull me, and I wouldn't come to this court on to the trial today. So I should not have been here. So if if the Belgian girl would not do like that, like uh, my support, so I will be here until today. Now the chocolate. If you are so clever at women's work, why do you not stay at home and do it? So you have done all works which the other women done in a in their kitchens. So you are a well mannered, clever woman. But why do you not stay at home? Why do you come to the battlefield? Why are you coming to this battlefield? So why don't you sit here in your kitchen silently? Then your answer. Then I pray to a father woman to do it, but there is nobody to do my work. So the ordinary woman, the simple woman, they look they they look their family. They look out look after their family. But here I am Jordan. I am I sent to by God to save my country. To save my country, to aid my country. That's why I come into the battlefield. Question. Come, we will waste some time on trifles. John, I'm going to put a most solemn question to you. Take care how you all you will answer. For your life and salvation are at stake on it. Will you for all who have said and done, be good or bad, accept the judgment of God's church on earth? More especially as to the acts and words that are imputed to you in this trial by the promoter here, will you submit your case to the inspired interpretation of the church agents? So, at the end of the trial, they tried, but they hadn't succeeded to reveal the truth by the jury. So, they came to end. That was that they have given the interpretation to the church meeting. Interpretation means an explanation about the issue. So they have uh, they have given to the church meeting. Meeting means here rebel, rebel, radical, like this. So Job, I am a faithful child of the church. I will obey the church. So okay. Okay, you can give to the church. I am very happy. I am very happy uh, to get my punishment in the hands of church. So that I am very faithful to the church. So that's why I don't bother about this. I will obey my church. What they given to me? They have. They have to given to me. Okay, question. 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 Hopefully. Leaning forward, you will, Jod, provided it does not command anything impossible. Provided it does not command anything impossible. Toshan sinks back in his chair with a heavy sigh. The invisible pulses his lips and throbs. Ladvino shakes his head pitifully. So they all try to convince the and some of the prosecutors they try to charge the guilt or crime he has done the heresy the heresy the heretic so they they impose this. some are con some some members are convincing issue convincing john and some some are charges and impose the guilty the uh, heresy towards john but at the end of the act at the end of the play John didn't reveal the truth by the which was sent by God. So he didn't uh, confess to the court. So that's why she had faced that punishment. What was the punishment here, children? She lively burned, tied to the stake. Here in the picture, we able to see the picture. So in olden days, uh, that is called the center of the village, the Rachabanda means uh, the center of the village or in the center of the court, uh, as to be as to tie the stake and lively burnt. She was lively burnt.
bunch. So here, look at the note here, children. At the age of 19, in 1431, she was tried for heresy and then burned at the stake as a witch. In 1909, she was beatified and in 1920, canonized a saint. So, after, uh, after a long time, she was born in 1431. At the age of 19, uh, she was burned uh, at the stake as a witch by the court, by the English army. Then, in 1909, she was beatified. Her life ends with that. After 500 years, nearly 500 years after, she was beatified and canonized as a saint. The provable, provable means declare. Uh, here, beatification means declaration by the Pope that a dead person is in a state of bliss, constituting a first step towards canonization and permitting public veneration. Saint means the uh, the goodness, the uh, the gurus like. Like gurus, the dignity of the goodness of the, um, the honorable, honorable, honorable to the person. So she became saint. Saint. Okay, Nana. So this is our lesson. Okay, I will give you glossary to to you. Okay, children. I will give you glossary. And also, antonyms in our lesson, the other forms of the words, I'll give you a note down. I will give you, give you the script of play. Write a script of play. It is a discourse, major discourse in our examination point of view. Okay, how to write a script of play? play? The hints, how to prepare a script is, uh, I will give you on the slide. So, take down the, those points and try to write a play in your own. Okay, Nana? Next, the last one is a sentence. Okay children, I assure, I am sure that you have understood very well about the play of Joan of Arc. Okay Nana. So now the time is assignment. You have already listened Joan of Arc, Saint Joan's character, what was her character, what was her patriotism, these qualities. Which good virtue qualities she had. Okay, now write a story writing about this play in your word words. Okay? Thank you for watching. Thank you for the and thank you everyone, those the DCEB members and the DUBOS, DCEB members, those who have given me this opportunity to meet children. Uh, to, um, to educate my children in this way. Thank you one and all.